It is impossible to imagine America without black people. And thus it's impossible to imagine America without a black narrative. My name is Tana Hasi Coates. I'm the author of Between the World and Me. It's a very intimate work that's written, addressed to my son. Really, this is a work that is, at least from my perspective, I was certainly attempting to root it in history. America is rather singular. The country that claimed to be premised on freedom actually was only able to fulfill that promise for a portion of its population and did it by brutalizing and enslaving another portion. And so all of American art is, is haunted in a particular way. My inspiration would be a very long list. But if we just kept it at Howard, I was there when I could read a Mary Baraka for the first time in my life. You know, very early in my writerly career, 19, 20 years old, I'm hearing somebody who's writing how black people talk. It's one thing to actually read somebody's work, but then to read them at the university where they actually attended. And to have, for instance, Ossie Davis on campus right there, addressing the students, talking about his time at Howard, it was a beautiful thing. It was a tremendous thing. And what I was trying to do in the book was just give some idea of what that meant and what it was. Son, I remember walking down to the tailgate party. I saw the entire diaspora around me. Hustlers, lawyers, cappers, busters, doctors, barbers, deltas, drunkards, geeks, and nerds. And I felt myself disappearing into all of their bodies. I always felt that I was part of a, a continuum of struggle. And in my sense, that world was in, in literature and among writers. I don't think I would be here talking right now uh, with, without the support of, of Toni Morrison, who went to Howard and, and very much endorsed uh, Between the World to Me as a book. And so I think it's very important to be supportive of, of younger writers. The most important thing is to not stop, because you're at the beginning of your career. You have barely become what you ultimately will become. Um, as somebody that published Between the World and Me when I was almost 40 years old, at that point, I, you know, I had you know, been basically writing professionally for almost 20 years. You, you really have to get into the practice and the craft of it, and it's really important that you keep going. Those that you know, win in the long term are the ones that just refuse to stop. Dear son. Son to my daughter. Dear brothers. I would not have you descend into your own dream. I would have you be a conscious citizen of this terrible and beautiful world.